Hey friends and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you how I do a chemical wood burn using my heat gun. So I am using this bamboo cutting board that is from the Dollar Tree and I just looked on Google and typed M with wreath and I found an M with this wreath around it and I ended up putting this in my Silhouette Studio software and just drew a box around it that was the same size as my cutting board and I'm just going to go ahead and transfer this on. So you very well could cut a stencil with your silhouette and trace it on that way. I just thought this was probably going to be the best and quickest and easiest way today to do this project. So I used this pencil and put all of that kind of graphite on the back of my M and I went ahead and used some tape just to tape it on place on top of my cutting board. And once I get that taped into place, I'm just using another pencil and I'm just tracing over the design and I'm pressing really hard and checking that that graphite is transferring the image onto my board. So I do the whole wreath around the letter M first and now I'm doing the letter M. I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos, but it's always easier to draw lines towards you. So if you're ever tracing or painting or drawing straight lines, try to kind of move the stencil around so you're pulling lines towards you and then your lines will be a bit straighter because it's easier to kind of control what you're doing as you pull things closer to you. So again, I'm checking to make sure that this is transferring over and I am kind of happy with what I've got going on here. It's kind of really hard to see on camera, but I can see my lines perfectly. I know exactly where I'm going to need to, yeah, there we go, we can see them there. You can kind of see them on the left a little. So I kept my paper attached at first just in case I needed to kind of reference where things were, but in the end, I saw everything pretty well. So this is where the chemical wood burning gets into play. I am going to use one tablespoon of this ammonium chloride and I just ordered this entire bag off of Amazon and I use this quite some time and I still have a whole bag left of it. So I'm using one tablespoon and then I'm going to do about six and a half tablespoons of water and I'm just adding that right into the cup, six and a half tablespoons and here's my half. There you go, that works, right? It's an ish, right? It doesn't have to actually be super perfect. And then I'm figuring out which kind of paintbrush I wanna use and I'm gonna stir up that solution. And I'm going to go ahead and just paint that onto my wooden cutting board. So I got like a little speck on the bottom there and I just went ahead and wiped that off. And I'm going to paint inside of those lines that I just transferred over. So you wanna be a little bit careful when you are pa painting on, cause you really are just kind of painting on water. Um, sometimes it will pull up into like a really big kind of blob of water. You wanna to try to avoid that because you really don't want it spreading cause it's clearly like a flat surface. This is also wood, so it has some grain to it and a little bit of my water kind of seeped out of the grain. That was fine. I was kind of happy with the final product but I'm just going through and painting inside of all of those pencil lines that I had transferred over from my stencil. So I'm just gonna keep going and going all the way around my wreath. So you can see here the water that's painted on, but you really wanna keep track of what you've painted because it will dry and it becomes a little bit more difficult to see. So you can see here it's starting to dry and it's getting kind of a little bit white you can kind of see where I have the water where I've painted it but you really kind of want to keep track so now I'm going to go in and paint through that M and once I get this all kind of water painted I keep saying paint but there's no paint involved whatsoever it's just kind of the action of painting this water on but I am just painting all of the water on that M and once you get it all painted on, you wanna give it some time just to dry. So when you go in with your heat gun, you're not 
blowing droplets of water anywhere so I just gave it about 10 minutes so all of the little like pulled up little puddles of water were completely gone and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with my heat gun. So here is the heat gun that I use. I will link that below for you guys too. I got this off of Amazon, so if it's still there, I will definitely link it for you. And I'm just going to put it on high and just kind of hold it over the spots that I have painted with that solution. And it doesn't take long. It only takes like less than 10 seconds to start seeing some colors change. Actually, this Part of the video I didn't speed up or change the speed of this video at all because I wanted you to see how quickly it actually does change so once my heat gun it took a while to kind of heat up a second but now that it is kind of on full blast and really heated up you can see how quickly just going over these spots that I painted are starting to change color <laughs> And I'm just going over it from where I painted it. So I started on the, where I painted it first and now I'm going to the second part. And here is more of a close up of it and the heat reacting. And again, it doesn't take long and you can really control how dark you want this to turn. So if you hold it on for quite some time, it gets really dark, kind of like this black here. But if you do it for a little less time, it turns more of a brown color. So you can kind of see the variations in the color here on the cutting board. And you can kind of see a little bit here how the bamboo cutting board is has those grooves in it and some of the liquid from some of the leaves of the wreaths kind of bled through of that. I was okay with that. I think my final product looks amazing. I like the way the project turned out, but I did just want to let you know that there are kind of grooves in this cutting board. If you used a different piece of wood or something that was sanded down a little bit more, I don't think you would run into those problems. I have done this project before without that problem. I just think it was this particular Dollar Tree cutting board. But again, I really love how this ended up turning out. So now I'm just going back over the whole thing, kind of darkening up a little bit of spots where I wanted a little bit darker. And again, I didn't speed this up either for you. I wanted you to see how quickly it really does change. And here's the end. Here's my final project. I think it looks so cute. It's super adorable. And I am just going to use this in my kitchen. So I have it set up here in our kitchen. And this chemical is actually used in like candy and stuff, so I'm fairly certain it will be okay to use this as an actual cutting board if you really wanted to, but use your own discretion. If you just wanna use it as a sign or decor, that's great too. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up, tap that bell. And let me know down in the comments if you've ever done wood burning either the traditional version or this version and if you think you might give this kind of chemical wood burning a shot thanks so much for watching guys bye